Hello, in this session we will look at how you can set up your MFA for your IAM accounts. Now let's first understand what is your MFA. So MFA it stands for multi-factor authentication. Now this is basically a two-step authentication that you can use for your uh, AWS accounts. So in addition to the username and password that we have for the authentication, we can also implement a MFA, a additional layer of security which will help you to secure your AWS account. So in this session, we will uh, look at how you can set up your MFA for your AWS accounts. Once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So as I said, MFA, it stands for multi-factor authentication. And this is basically a multi-step account login process. So, uh, you know, it's um, uh, instead of just providing the username and password, you will have additional step for your login process. So this will require the users to enter more information than just a password. So instead of just entering the username and password, uh, MFA will prompt you for more login information to authenticate to the AWS account. So instead of just entering the password, this will be prompting you for more information. So for example, along with the password, users might be asked to enter a code, all right, that uh, uh, which is sent to your email accounts or answer a secret question or simply scan a fingerprint. So it can be anything, but there will always be an additional login process that we will have to follow under your MFA. So for increased security, AWS recommends that we set up this multi-factor authentication to simply protect our AWS services and the resources that we are going to use. So using this MFA, we can enable MFA for your uh, root account as well as your IAM user. So uh, if you're a root user, you can set up the MFA and you can also ask your IAM users that you have created to set up your MFA. So when we enable MFA for the root user, it affects only the root user credentials. It does not affect the IAM users. IAM users in the account are distinct identities who have their own identities and each identity has its own MFA configuration. So when you set up your uh, uh, MFA for the root account, it only applies to the root account. Uh, if you want to set up the MFA for your IAM users, the users will have to do it um, uh, individually. All right. So we can register up to eight MFA devices of any combination of the currently supported MFA types with the AWS account, root users and IAM users. So you can set up up to eight MFA devices. So you can enable MFA using any of the following types. So we can use a virtual MFA device, which is a software app. You can have a FIDO security key with an AWS supported configuration. And then we can also have a hardware based MFA device from a third party provider, uh, like a token device. So you can use any of these options to set up your MFA. Now, in our case, we will be using your uh, virtual MFA device, which is nothing but an app that you will be installing on your device and we'll use that for the uh, MFA setup. So here I have my AWS account or this is my uh, root user. So to set up your MFA, you can go to the IAM service. When you go to the IAM service, it will by default prompt you to set up your MFA. So add MFA for root user. So, so to do this, just click on add MFA and you just have to follow the steps one after the other. All right. So, um, so over here, you should be able to see this multi-factor authentication. So click on assign MFA device. So what device do you want to use? So you can give a name to this. So let's call this as app and you want to use authenticator app, security or hardware token. So we are going to use an authenticator app, which is nothing but a virtual application. Next. Now, what app you can install? For that, you can click on this and this will give you a list of applications that are supported as part of your uh, MFA. And over here, these are the applications that you can use. So this is uh, all the applications that you can use for Android and this will be for your iOS. Now, in our case, we will be using this uh, uh, Google Authenticator as part of our authentic authentication. So you will have to download that app on your device, whether your mobile device or your uh, uh, desktop laptop, anywhere you want. Now, I have already downloaded this. So if you go to the uh, Play Store, let's say if you're on uh, uh, Android, if you go to the Play Store, you can search for Google Authenticator. 
so here we will search for google authenticator and you should be able to see this so you just have to install this app on your device now i already have this app on my device now once you're done installing that app just open up that app and here click on this show qr code now you'll have to open up the app and you'll have to scan this qr code you just click on the plus symbol that you see and you should be able to scan a qr code and once you scan this QR code, this will start generating a six digit code. All right. So you just have to enter that uh, six digit code. So in my case, this is the first set of six digit. It's without a space and then you'll have to wait. So this is this uh, generates new numbers automatically after every few seconds. So the second MFA code, you wait for some time, which will generate a new number and then just enter that new number and click on add MFA just make sure that the numbers are unique and then click on add MFA and this should set up your MFA now once you're done setting up your MFA the next time when you log into your AWS account in addition to your uh, password all right so here let's say I will give my email ID and then I will give my password now in addition to this, it will prompt you for the MFA code. So this is my second layer of security. So for the MFA code, just open up the app and whatever the number that you uh, see on the screen, you just have to enter that number. You don't have to memorize this number because the app, it generates uh, numbers automatically. So we just enter that number, click on submit and this will log into your AWS account. So this is basically what your multi-factor authentication is. You can use this to add additional layer of security to your AWS account to protect your AWS resources and your services. And at any point, if you want to disable it, you can disable it. However, that is not recommended. And MFA is something that is very commonly used at an organization level as well. However, if you are interested in uh, disabling it, you can always disable it. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.